What's up, everyone? Mark Lovelin here, TigerFitness.com, alongside... Ryan Rogerson with Domitize Nutrition. <sighs> My man, Brian. This motherfucker. This motherfucker can write. By the way, Domitize, if you're writing an essay like this, you might have to drink an intra-workout shake, because this took him about 12 hours to write yeah, this. This is a big one. You guys, you guys are in for a friggin' long, long reading thing. So you might want to sip on some ISO 100 while you're writing stuff like this. Um, is there something to this? <sighs> hey, Mark, I've been trying to find God. No, I'm just kidding. I've successfully cut for the second summer now. Currently, I'm 165 with fairly low body fat. I've been in a deficit for about 12 weeks and maintain all of my strength and actually improve some of my lifts. Every once in a while, I'll have a binge episode where I have an excessive cheat day due to special occasions, holidays, day drinking. Day drinking? What the fuck is day drinking? Was that around when we were kids? Is that a country song? I think it is. I think, I think that's by song. Toby Keith. Yeah, something like yeah. that. Yeah. Um, a day drinking um, or lack of adherence, which leads to another mini cut to be back to where I was. When I'm in a deficit, I'm merely trying to maintain my strength. However, I feel extremely strong the day after my cheat days when my lifts actually increase. I kiss at some PRs on isolation movements here and there. PR on an isolation movement. Yay, I got my PR on the Nautilus curl machine. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my tricep extension PR. Yay. I've set all-time PRs on bench press, too. Okay. Okay, there we go. You validated. He redeemed himself. Yep, yep, yep. There we go. As someone looking to lean bulk. Close to the end of summer, I was wondering if there's any of this style of deficit training could be a way to stay lean while bulking. I've heard Jerry Ward at BioS3 speak on this before and talk about when you've been in a deficit for so long, your body is much better at absorbing nutrients. So your body just doesn't absorb nutrients when you're... I don't get it. Oh, I, I fucking science... I've also been working out for about five years, even though I really just started learning the proper ways to train about a year ago, started seeing noticeable gains. Being that I wouldn't consider these beginner gains, Jesus Christ, I was wondering if there's a way, anything to this, and would love to get your take on whether or not this could be approached staying leaner while bulking slowly. I don't even know where to start. Does anyone have a Xanax? That I think would I need a Xanax. Right, yeah, that'd be the right place to start. Um, here's what happens. When you eat big... You fill your liver glycogen, right? Mm -hmm. You fill your, or your glycogen stores all over your liver, your muscle, you're full of glycogen. Glycogen is energy. You get glucose in your cells, your veins are popping, you have energy. Glucose is your body's preferred, for, preferred source of energy. You got a bunch of that, you're hydrated, you're gonna be stronger in the gym. That's all you're noticing. As for a lean bulk, um, I recommend slow and low. I recommend one to two pounds a month, and I recommend linear dieting. Why? Because I don't want someone bulking yet starving and then binging. I also think that we fail to look at the main issue with, with dieting and bodybuilding and gaining and losing and everything is the mental aspect and how this could lead to an eating disorder. If you're starving yourself and then binging to gain more lean mass, excuse me, in my opinion, that's an unhealthy eating practice. Yeah, not a good uh, situation. By I'd rather see you slowly ramp up calories. I have massdiet.com, M-A-S-S diet.com. And uh, I think that'll do a great job for you. However, um, I know Jerry might have said what Jerry said, um, that you're stronger after a big meal. But imagine if you just gradually, you, imagine if your glycogen stores are full because you're simply eating more all the time. There's no need to have those binges, which I think are psychologically fucked. Yeah. That's just my opinion. What do you think, bro? I, I agree. And and like a, a lot of people don't look at this as a longevity and a healthy lifestyle and aspect of this. And I think that just like Mark said, I mean, binge eating and, and creating bad habits like that, I don't think are needed, personally. Yeah, I mean, but if you are going to binge eat, he does the day drinking. There you go. At least combine it with hookers. I really don't think he's maximizing his results without the hookers. What the fuck is day drinking? I, I don't know. I mean, are you like floating on a, like a <laughs> tube down a river I'm, drinking? I'm, I mean, I'm guessing he's on a pool floaty. Something. With a cup, a cup on the side. But anyway, I hope that helps you, man. I don't like it. But if you want to do it, it's your body. All I do is I offer the advices. If you want to take the advices, that's up to you. Diamantize, link down below. ISO 100 is back. Birthday cake flavor, 12 other flavors in addition to that. Click it, buy it. That's not a game.